I have a passion for treating older patients and dementia is a big part and concerns for everyone who ages. It's very hard for our older population to travel. We need to be able to give care in our home clinics. We've been really fortunate to be able to work with the dementia supports in rural Saskatchewan to develop this clinic in Esterhazy and developing programs and services with people that will be delivering them in the communities makes them much more likely to be feasible and effective and sustainable. In our current memory clinic, we have the patient um, accompanied by a family member. We start the morning off by having a team meeting where we discuss who is the patient and the client that we're going to meet today, um, what is our background information that we already have on the patient. Then all of the team members meet with the patient individually as well as meeting with the family member. So as I explained earlier, I'll be doing a bit of cognitive testing, but also we're going to look at your mobility and okay. you talked about the My role on the clinic is assessing the client, looking at their cognition, their walking ability, their balance, fall history, as well as looking at how, how the function is affecting the activities of daily living, like cooking. M, N. The clinic is a real benefit because they come just for one appointment. They get to see a multidisciplinary team. They get to see the doctor, the pharmacist, the home care person, as well as the therapist, and has, have a link into the, the Alzheimer's Society's First Link program. Afterwards, we all come together again, review our findings as a team, come up with a diagnosis and uh, suggestions for treatment and follow-up, and then we bring in the patient and the family member and we discuss our findings and uh, tell them how we can support them further. In summary, you do not have dementia, okay? Your memory is actually doing a lot better than you think it is. The team-based aspect of this memory clinic is great because it allows clients to come in, receive assessment and diagnosis, and then that leads to early interventions as well as supportive care. I feel like all aspects that can be helped with are being looked at. Things that I never even thought of how they were affecting me and what I needed. And my husband too, because it's not been easy for him. The memory clinic has been a very big benefit for me and my patients specifically, because I feel that I can give them a better assessment and more confidence in the diagnosis, as well as when we are diagnosing them, they're not going home feeling um, lost and scared about what the future might entail, because we already have the support services and plan in place. Um, I've known uh, Dr. Deborah Morkinsworth for quite a number of years. I knew that she had a lot of expertise and experience in order to do this in southern parts of Saskatchewan or in rural areas. We received $3 million from the federal government, the New Horizons for Seniors program. We've actually funded six different organizations to deliver different types of interventions. Some are local organizations. We're working in the Yorkton, Melville and surrounding rural area. That's where we're focusing our attention. So we were able to provide funds to get the clinic up and running. And it all went very, very smoothly because there was a real solid model there to build on. We know that with the right supports in their communities that people living with dementia and their family members can have a better quality of life and live well with dementia. Our hope is that we can continue to expand these clinics to other areas in the province and we're open to talking to people about that. My hope is that really everyone, whether they're rural or urban, would have access to team-based primary care for dementia. Yeah. I'm just really happy also to know that other people will be able to benefit from it because I'm not the only one.